guys and welcome to another tutorial from Master Android. Today we'll talk about Android emulator, Gen Emotion. There are two emulators option uh, in uh, Android, Gen Emotion and Intel HAXM. Uh, we see in the previous uh, video about Intel HAXM. Today we'll show you how to the right uh, manner to set up Gen Emotion. It is uh, better than the Android Studio emulator. First, we uh, we we will go to uh, install the uh, plugin for the emulator. Then we will go uh, to uh, to download the emulator and uh, install J uh, Java JDK and install the required virtual box uh, program. So we will see all these steps uh, in this uh, tutorial. So uh, don't uh, don't miss to subscribe and make us going further to make uh, new tutorials. So the definition of Genymotion is a cloud-based Android virtual devices to boost your test automation uh, or run your uh, app in uh, your website or uh, another uh, env environment. So now. Uh, as an overview for the setup steps, download plugin from Android Studio repos repository, repository, download Genymotion uh, free after registration in the website and download and install VirtualBox. And you will also don't miss also the Java JDK. Log in with your account and create your device after, the run after running VirtualBox. So uh, till now, I recommend, highly recommend uh, using uh, uh, Jenny Motion. So let's start beginning. Uh, uh, let's start downloading the plugin and installing Jenny Motion. Go to Project Setup, Project uh, Settings, then go to Plugins, search for uh, Jenny Motion. It will not find. Uh, it will not appear in the fir in first. Now go to search in repositories and install the plugin. Restart Android Studio and uh, click Apply and then restart uh, Android Studio. After installation, uh, after restarting, you will see uh, this uh, plugin is installed. Click uh, on tool, a toolbar, view it. It will the plugin will appear. So till now we are going good. Let's go to Jenny Motion, uh, Jenny Motion uh, website and uh, download the jar file. The jar file is the extension of a uh, Java a JDK and the uh, environment. So we, in op in order to open this file we need to install uh, Java JDK. Now go to google.com, download Java JDK, click on the website and uh, click download Oracle JDK. Here you can you need to accept the license and uh, click and uh, install the uh, the required and uh, the 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 extension .exe or .zip. So uh, till now I uh, I need uh, to uh, install .exe and download .exe. Also, the zip file is uh, available, so I will download zip also. Uh, I will open now zip. I will show you the files inside the JDK. These files will installed in your computer to run the JDK. And uh, now I will install the exe to show you uh, to show you how to uh, make. Uh, and install Java JDK in your computer. Till now, we are going good.
Okay, let's install this file. Okay, click next and uh, install the SE in the development kit 11.0.1. I choose as uh, 64 uh, bit because my computer is uh, 64. And this is uh, the document documentation. Now let's uh, go and uh, open the jar file that we downloaded early in this video. Now click open. Now let's create the uh, Genymotion account. Go to genymotion.com, select desktop and select trial. So we need to make uh, an account I have uh, about two or three, uh, three uh, Genymotion uh, accounts. I will create now an account for uh, for uh, for showing you how to make it. Enter your credentials. Enter email. And your password. Select your country. Now validate your email. So now download Genymotion for personal use. Click on it and download Genymotion Personal Edition. Select your uh, Windows or with, with VirtualBox. Install it, I highly recommend using VirtualBox. If you have installed a VirtualBox on your computer, download it without VirtualBox. Now, click open it will automatically uh, download the virtual box and the Jenny motion. Okay, after finishing the installation, uh, Microsoft uh, Visual C++ also will be installed. Uh, don't worry, these are uh, files for virtual uh, box. Click yes and install. You can also use VirtualBox, uh, this VM virtual machine to run uh, other uh, operating systems like Linux, uh, like uh, uh, um, uh, Macintosh and other Windows uh, version like XP, Windows 7, Windows 10 and other operating systems. Till now, I will la launch Genymotion, launch Genymotion. Okay. Now, 
let's uh, choose the personal use and click on I have read the terms and let's create a virtual device sign in to access the available virtual devices let's sign in use use your credentials uh, that we have uh, had the made the account throughout the video click sign in oops oh uh, okay now i uh, there is uh, some network errors i uh, maybe i have forgotten the password okay i logged in now i create a virtual device i uh, prefer uh, making and choosing a galaxy a Go a google uh, nexus uh, 6p uh, with the uh, android 8 which is good and click uh, and wait for downloading the files it is about 350 megabytes you are uh, seeing them so now that the uh, Genie motion install uh, installed and downloaded the virtual device now it is deploying the virtual device deploying means that you are uh, the required files for the device is uh, is installed and uh, being prepared for launching the virtual device and the android system installed on it click finish and let's go to click start click start it may uh, took uh, some uh, time for uh, first time uh, launching starting the virtual device but don't worry don't worry we may uh, experience uh, the the error unable to start the virtual device okay don't worry just go to a virtual box click on show on the run the virtual the box and click the the virtual uh, box we uh, or the virtual device and click start again you see google nexus settings and change to microsoft windows and windows 10 64 bit these are the most common uh, errors that every uh, person installed Genymotion will uh, will uh, face them. So in this video, I will show I am showing you how to uh, remove these errors. First, uh, open VirtualBox, select the settings, the correct settings. Let your computer and let your virtual dev box install the required and acquired the uh, required uh, files then click start uh, the device from genymotion console Let's start the device. Okay, the device is starting and it uh, may took uh, some uh, time to display the Android interface and uh, the, the app. So let's first initialize it, launching it, 
Okay. All right. It's working fine. So let's run our demo app. I made an app uh, like uh, uh, displaying some text to uh, to uh, show them on the or test the Gini Motion um, emulator. Choose the Gini Motion when clicking run in Android Studio. Make sure you uh, choose Gini Motion device. Wait for the app to be installed. It may uh, it may take some time. Okay, let's see. And congratulations, the app is working fine. Don't miss to subscribe and uh, keep us making tutorials.